Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. I've been neglecting you a little bit, so let's jump right in and look at some of the charts. I want to start with my video that has had over 45,000 views in which I predicted that this year the Bitcoin price will jump to two or $10,000. And so back in that video, I basically said that I think the price will break through the all-time high until that time which was somewhere below 1200 and when that happens i believed that a bitcoin bubble will happen that will catapult the price towards those 2 to 10k now what has actually happened if we take a look at the bitcoin price we see that it actually broke through all these all-time highs but then has crashed back down to about 920 just a couple of days ago and has slightly recovered from that. So where is that Bitcoin bubble I predicted? Well, I actually think that we still are in this sort of bubble as we speak right now. If we take a look at the markets in the last couple of weeks, they have been really, really crazy. So I really think that this bubble has been going on, but what has actually happened is a lot of the energy has moved away from Bitcoin and into the altcoins. I believe there's two main reasons why this happened. Number one was the ETF decision, and number two is the quarrel and drama that is plaguing Bitcoin right now. We can see this if we take a look at the Bitcoin dominance here that we can look on at coin market cap what i really want to look at is the altcoin market capitalization and we see here that in the last few weeks this has gone from 3 billion all the way up to 7 billion so it has doubled basically in the last couple of weeks at the same time of course we see because the bitcoin price didn't double in the last couple of weeks that means that the dominance of Bitcoin, that means how much Bitcoin makes up of all the crypto market has been reduced to right now 66%. So we can very clearly see that there's a, a, a downtrend that has been going on with some variance over time. Right now, there's been very crazy sort of run up of the altcoins. And so this is what I mean when I say that I believe that a lot of this bubble energy has swapped over into the altcoin markets. All that said, I still believe that Bitcoin actually has a way to go. Right here, this is where this downtrend started. And this is right at the ETF decision. So Wall Street basically, or the SEC basically made a decision to not have a Bitcoin ETF, which means we won't have an easy way to trade Bitcoin on the regular Wall Street market. This, of course, was a very bad decision or perceived as very bad by the market. I personally don't think it's a very big deal or changes a lot. In fact, I think it'll actually drive a lot of growth into the crypto market but that's a different topic what we see here first there was this big crash all the way down to 966 recovered right away ran up uh, to 1255 and then started to create a new downtrend so right now um, there is a long-term downtrend and then at the same time a very short-term downtrend um, has formed and we can see that this very short-term downtrend here maybe just has been broken through today. We can see that this little tiny red candle is outside of this market, but this is so close that I'm not ready to call this here. So we've seen just in the last couple of weeks, it seemed like Bitcoin would be crashing. But of course, this might just be a small technical reaction. So I would not overestimate the drama that is going on in this fork debate in Bitcoin. I don't think it's that big of a deal. We've had this drama for years by now. And so I just wouldn't put too much emphasis on that drama that's going on here. 
What I really see is that there is a long-term uptrend in Bitcoin that is coming here at the 920 that we j that was just confirmed, which is a great thing. Um, if this very, very hard downtrend is not going to hold, which I think it won't because it's just so, so steep. Uh, Bitcoin cannot crash this much forever. So if we break through this 920 here, then there will be another uptrend right right away that will probably hold and if not then this one so i think the fact that bitcoin crashed actually so fast will make it much easier for one of these uptrends to hold and then this uptrend be confirmed which will then give bitcoin great strength to recover gather a lot of energy right here and then break out and go up um interestingly we just had a Bitcoin meetup in Philadelphia where Tone Vase was in Philadelphia. Um, we were actually meeting inside of the train station. Um, so it was probably one of the smallest Bitcoin meetups um, you can imagine, uh, especially for such a great city as Philadelphia. But the Bitcoin space is still growing here in our wonderful city in Philadelphia. But P Tone Vase was here. And um, he, he gave a very great presentation. It was great to meet him. I really liked the fact that the meetup was so small. You can see me sitting, by the way, right here um, and taking some notes. And uh, one of the things that Tone said is that he believes that the Bitcoin price will find its high point in August. And he believes the price will reach about 2000 by August of this year. So I have no idea how he actually got to that particular point, middle of August and $2,000. But yeah, we will see. So I think the Bitcoin price has a way to go. And I think what is happening here, which is probably also just a little bit of a technical re um, a reaction. I think this is very healthy and will allow Bitcoin to gain energy to then really rally up. Um, at the same time, the altcoins, they have had all this uh, wild ups and downs. It's really been crazy in the last couple of weeks. It is certainly not normal and it certainly feels like a bubble time. So if you are in the alt markets or if you're entering Bitcoin right now, do not think this is normal. I don't think this is normal. The alts are always very, very volatile. But what is happening right now with coins just doubling and then losing 30% the next day and then doubling again and not just one or two coins, but like a handful of coins doing all of this at the same time. This is not normal and just shows us again what is happening here. There's just a lot of trading going on and um, I don't think this sort of energy is very sustainable at all. And so the question now is really what is going to happen? Are the, are, is that energy going to go back towards Bitcoin? And that is something that I could absolutely imagine. And then we can really get some energy into Bitcoin and Bitcoin can rise um, or we don't know what the future, of course, holds. So right now we are in a very, very interesting time and every Bitcoin bubble is very, very different. Clearly what is going on right now with all this energy in the altcoins um, is very new, is something I have not um, experienced as of yet. So this is very, very cool to see. So now I also want to just look at some of the other altcoins. Of course, here we have Ethereum. Ethereum still looks like a very healthy. Um, it, 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 is, it hasn't really crashed from, it, from its uptrend. Um, as long as we hear over the um, moving average of 12 days, we could just maybe come down here. So I think the next target is about 45. And I kind of expect Ethereum to crash um, just given how fast it went up. It has to consolidate a little bit. But technically, I think there's still room that it could explode um, even further. We will see. But I don't see where that energy is coming from right now. Also, if you take a look at the volume, you can see there was lots and lots of volume right here in this uproar, basically. But right now, there's no volume. So unless we get new volume coming into Ethereum, I think we're probably going to see a correction. Let's take a look at Dash. Well, Dash already has corrected. 
um, it basically went through the um, moving average of 12 days. And I think now we're really in a kind of a consolidation phase of Dash. Dash went from uh, $10 to $100. So it probably really needs to correct. I guess the next target is here the 75 um, and then the 50 don't really know what's going on to me i don't want to i don't want to short it i don't want to um go into it right now um i would just kind of stay away until um kind of a new pattern um uh, arises so we'll, we'll we'll see what's going on if you're a good trader you can probably handle this stuff much much be better something that i do find exciting is monero because Monero really the chart is not that crazy. So you can see here, we see um, a, a pretty healthy uptrend. Right now, um, Monero is also consolidating and um, maybe this uh, $18 may hold. If not, we have here this um, uptrend at about $15. So I think at $15, Monero would be a great buy. And so this is something that I'm actually looking for for Monero to come down here at 15 to then enter the market again. Yeah, so right now I don't really like uh, anything to buy from these um, from these big uh, altcoins. My favorite coins to buy right now would be to wait for Monero here, be here at about $15. And I actually like Bitcoin. So I like Bitcoin, especially if you buy it close to these uptrends. So if you bought Bitcoin for um, a couple of days ago at 920, a friend of mine did that. He basically had put in a limit buy order at 920 when the price was up here around 1200. I think that is something very smart to do. He already owns Bitcoins and he's buying more Bitcoins when it crashed to basically increase his holding. And another way another thing that one could do is put in a buy order here at around 850 or maybe like 730 740 dollars uh, basically anticipating that bitcoin may crash down to these levels um, i personally think bitcoin probably after this correction that we just had um, i would think that this uptrend will probably hold but who knows so this is kind of where i see an actually decent entry in Bitcoin, uh, maybe not at uh, 1040, but something more to 950 or 930. I think those are good buy opportunities for Bitcoin. But if I had to buy anything at this time of um, day, like right now, I would probably prefer to buy Bitcoin at this point of time from the charts that I've shown you just now. So that's it. That's what I want to leave you with uh, right now. Please understand that i have no idea what i'm talking about this is not investment advice this is just for entertainment here and please also um do understand that we are in a very very bubbly phase of this market and that it is very very crazy at this point in time and the volatility is insane all right with that i hope you're lucky i hope you make a lot of money and i hope you see you to see you again in my future videos